Joining us on uh, Get to Know the Fighters now is the infamous Eric Olsen. Eric, thanks for joining us. I'm going to ask you five questions. Um, you have to give me a number one to 20 for sport and one to 20 for random. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with sport. Give us a number one to 20. Sport? Uh, eight. Eight. What other sports do you follow? Anything I can gamble on. Yeah, um, particularly NFL, the real football, not soccer. Um, I've, been, I've been known to bet on a soccer game here or there. Um, NBA I like a lot, baseball I like. Anything competitive that I can bet money on. Ice hockey? Um, no, fuck hockey, because I've lost too much money on it. Yeah. Let's go to random. Give us one to 20, random. Number? Uh, 17. 17? What's your guilty pleasure? Gambling. It's a fucking problem. I've, I've been good for, for a little while. Um, if it's not gambling, it's punching people in the face outside. I got a fucking hair trigger, go from zero to 100. I'll, yeah, so it's one of them too, yeah. Back to sport, another number? Four. Four. Who, do, who did you enjoy beating the most? In BKB or in general? General, your sport. Oh, fucking so many fights. I would have to say Scott, pretty boy, Midgley. I enjoyed schooling him. Although I did a terrible performance because I cut so much weight. I cut like 18 pounds. It's like a stone and a little more in a day. Me and him had a lot of animosity and still do. I still beat him up if I see him again. I liked fucking schooling him when he was at his best and I was at my worst. I liked fucking blood, putting blood in his mouth. On to uh, random, another number? Uh, five. Five. Do you read horoscopes? Yeah, actually, yes, yes. I read everything, but I am into that horoscope thing. I guess that makes me kind of like some teenage girl or something. But I'm a Gemini, and I'm like the epitome of a June 8th Gemini. Instead of two personalities, I got like 38 different personalities in my head. And that's why it depends what Eric you get. On whatever day. Yeah, whatever fucking minute. My moods can change between now and when I started. I'm already like in a different fucking multiverse in my head. It's, it's a problem. We're going to move on then. Move on to another one from sport. A number? Yes, please. Nine. Nine. What do you think has been your greatest or best achievement in sport? In, in BKB? Either. BKB, MMA, whatever you've done. My greatest achievement, in my opinion, would be the fact that I've become an international fighter all on my own personality and my own ability. I don't come from any big gym that's got any big connections. This has all been me sending emails, booking tickets, paying my own way, making a name for myself, fighting all over the world, anybody, any weight, any style. Um, a lot of people just come from a padded background, and I don't. Like, I'm there in the front lines, in the trenches, 24-7. If there's a fight, it could be in fucking Chechnya. I'll go there next tomorrow. We can fight. We can do it. So, that. Another one from Random, your third one? One. One. What's your favorite TV program? Breaking Bad would have to be my favorite TV program of all time, but a close second would be American Horror Story Cult, because I am... Kai Anderson in real life. If you know who Kai Anderson is, that's fucking me. Eric Anderson. Uh, and uh, your fourth one in sport. Oh, let me, actually, let oh. me re-answer that. You. I love the show You. I've watched the first season about 20 times. I'm going to watch the 20 more. Joel Goldberg is the man. Let's move on to another one. Your fourth one from uh, sport. Your sport. 11. 11. Do you have any superstitions before entering the ring? No. Um, on a good fight night, I don't feel anything. So I, I don't think anything is predetermined or predestined. What will be, will be. So you just fight in the moment. And uh, number four for you for random. Give us a number. 18. 18. 18. What's your favorite band or singer? Hmm. Fuck, there's a lot of them. It depends on what mood I'm in. Um, I'm going to have to go with Mortal Decay from New Jersey. Uh, it's a great grind death metal band, sings about things I like, and, and their singer, I believe his last name, Anthony Provone, I can't pronounce it, I don't know, it was the guy who sang on the album Forensic, that's the best death metal singer, close second is Michael Majewski from Devourment and Kill Everything, that's my buddy down in Texas. And your final one on your sport? Uh, 13. What's been your lowest point as a sportsman? My lowest, point, uh, my lowest point is when I feel that I haven't performed my best. It's not a win, it's not a loss. Even if I win a fight and I don't feel I did what all I could have done because I was overthinking, that can eat me up a little bit. I get pretty hard on myself. My lowest would have been when I lost in Bellator because I was winning that fight until the end. And I lost because I gave up a position I had worked for 
and I rushed something and that was an amateur mistake and with my level of fights there should be no more amateur mistakes. That was pretty bad for me. I sat in a casino for three days and spent all my money. That made it fucking worse. <laughs> Your final random number? Twelve. Twelve. What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? I haven't done anything embarrassing. I haven't done anything bad. Everything I do is perfect. Everything is someone else's fault and I don't say sorry. I'm perfect, you know what I'm saying? I'm not somebody who sits here and knocks himself and tells people, oh, I could do this better. Motherfucker, I'm the best in the world. And that's why you should follow me, bet on me, believe in me. And that's why Greg's fucked tomorrow. And that's that. As always, Eric, pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>